I would ask if we could do phone calls. And then he was like, I'm not comfortable with phone calls. This man, baboon, this baboon, that's what it is. This baboon was just lying and lying and lying. Ah, guys. Hello guys, welcome back. It is me, it is I, Mutsa K, aka DJ Beesh Beesh. If you're new to my channel, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Make sure you push that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your post notifications so you never, <laughs> never miss a thing. Please also do make sure that you follow me on my social media platforms. I am Mutsa the Nail on Snapchat and Mutsa K underscore on Instagram. As you can see from the title of the video, <laughs> I was catfished. A whole me was catfished online. Uh, let's just get right into the story. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so uh, let's get right into it. So I met this dude called Jason, or that's what it, I think his name was. Um... Actually, hold on. I guess I should tell you guys. I've been catfished before. This was not the first time. I was catfished um, the first time, I think, in 2014 or 15. Somewhere around there. Um, it turned out to be some old white man in Gweru or whatever. Um, so, but he was posing as... I didn't know him then, but he was using Pablo Hernandez's pictures. Um, I'm gonna put them on the screen so y'all can get an idea of what that person of who that person is and then this dude Let's start from the Beningi, you know mm. so I met him on Grindr and uh, He spoke to me really nicely, which I really liked. I like talking to people who have something to say other than you know The deeds and stuff, you know, I'm not into people who who can only you know talk about stuff like that so we know we spoke about life you know, how, you know, we would like to be together, how we can make that happen, blah, 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 how we're going to plan our future. And, you know, he was also kind of some of these things he said out of his own initiative. You know, it wasn't because I said something to him, which is I guess that sparked me because I'm at that age where I feel like I want to settle down. And, you know, i had already said in the last video, you know, that I actually now believe honestly believe that the love of my life is not here in Zimbabwe. But while we're on that, about the last video, I just want to apologize for the quality. My phone absolutely refused for me to, you know, edit certain things. It would, it kept on freezing. And I had no choice but to publish it like that. So I do apologize about that. Anywho, back to the story. Um, you know, he spoke to me really nicely. We spoke about great things. So last Friday, we were talking about our favorite jams, you know, music, la di da so I told him my favorite, and then he told me his, and he I told him I would check it out. The next morning, um, I think he I texted him to say good morning, and then he said, um, he asked me if I listened to the song. And I said, no, um, not yet. Um, and then he kind of disappeared. On He went offline, rather. So during that time, you know, I got on the phone with a Kenyan friend of mine from uni, Fatah. Absolutely love that man. He is just a sweetheart. Anywho, so I got on the phone with Fatah. And you know, he's Kenyan as well. I don't know if I said that already. But anywho, I just told him, hey, I met this dude. He claims he's Kenyan and stuff. Um, I really like him, but I also feel like I'm being played, like I'm being catfished. And so he he told me to send him the picture and I was like, oh, OK, cool. And then he says, I know this dude. OK, so to a certain degree, I was relieved. I was like, OK, this is actually a real person. Then I was like, oh, OK, who is he? Then he was like, this dude is a celebrity. And I was like, oh, OK, is he a Kenyan celebrity? He was like, nah, he's an American, I think. But I think so. His name is Broderick Hunter. I'm going to put the picture that he one of the pictures he used to send me. So, uh. Excuse me. So, yeah. So I figured out I was being played. And in that moment, I was just raging. I just wanted to get lit because I didn't even know what to do because we're not even in the same country. But now I was also wondering who I've been talking to, who I've been telling all these personal things about me, you know? Um, and it bothered me. And so he came back online and then he says to me, did you listen to the song? So I'm like, nah, I was checking out this dope actor stuff. Broderick Hunter, amazing, exclamation mark. And this man replies me and he says something so dingy and so disrespectful. 
he was like, um, wow, we all do some, some digging sometimes. Imagine, even puts, that's cool. So I was just like, that's it, that's all you have to say. And then he's like, I'm sorry. You know, it really upset me and I'm more disappointed in myself than him. Yes, I'm upset he lied to me, but you know what? There were so many red flags before that even happened. So I feel like I have myself to blame for the most of it. My friend had actually warned me about two weeks ago. She told me not to even bother with these things because people are just really shady. Um, but that really broke my spirit last week. So I actually deleted all that. I deleted the account, everything. And I'm not doing it again, ever again. If anything, this was the lesson. And I even told them, thank you for teaching me not to trust people. I'm never going to deal with anybody unless I know them in person. I'm just upset. This man was talking about marriage and, you know, planning our future. Like, ugh, olosh. Oh but anyway, it's okay. Um, <laughs> I think after two days or three, I was kind of okay. But, you know... What upset me was that I actually had told him I'd been catfished before, you know, like a night or two before this all happened. And, you know, he played the empathetic part card about how that was such a terrible thing to do to somebody. Yet he was doing the same thing to me. And if he was a real man, that was his opportunity to come out with his bullshit. You know, maybe I would have liked him as is. Mr. Jason. Don't even know if that's his real name, but whatever. I wish you karma and bad luck to... <laughs> you know, I, I don't even have to wish it. Karma is a bitch and is very real. So you're going to get yours, Mr. Man. I hope you're even watching this. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm single. Still. Um, actually, I don't even know why I said that. But anywho, yeah, that's pretty much what happened, hey? And... I think for, I could not die. <laughs> me, <laughs> me, a whole me being catfished, guys. Ah, yeah, the devil is at work, 100%. That's what I can say, but it's cool. I got me, I'm still okay. I'm glad I caught it very early. You know, it, this could have gone really far. But you know, there were so many things that were so shady about that man. You know, he claimed to work for this NGO. It's a famous one, I'm not gonna mention it because you know, but anywho, you know, he I remember he was saying that he was broke and he hadn't been paid for two months. And, you know, that was just weird coming from somebody who works for such a company because they don't operate like that. Moreover, I had a cousin who worked there and she was banking like five grand a month. You know what I'm saying? So how do you get broke like like that? And if it's for two months, how are you surviving? You know what I'm saying? And then I would ask if we could do phone calls. And then he was like, I'm not comfortable with phone calls. This man baboon this baboon that's what it is this baboon was just lying and lying and lying ah guys don't trust anything online please just don't ah nah these scams are not funny because you know you invest your emotions and your emotions can actually affect you know how your day goes so guys save yourselves but that's it if you enjoyed this video please do make sure that you subscribe make sure you turn on your post notifications and until next time ciao